Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, it could be welcome back, but this is my first video, so it's probably just welcome. Um, this is just me, maybe a couple times a month, just uploading videos about my two list of the engines. Uh, they it, it it won't be a from start to finish guide because they're already about halfway through being taken apart. Um, but it would just be maybe looking for advice from people that know more about this than I do. Um, just looking for advice here and there. So I'll show you around the engines then. Alright, so I've got two of them. Uh, I've got this one and I've got this one. I also have a pump, a water pump. But I'm going to do that after I've got one of these running. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to fix up this one and use the parts from this one like... For example, I broke this stud here, so I'll be using the stud, one of these studs, here instead. Uh, and the magneto, I'll take magneto from this one and put it on here. Uh, so I'll probably just have one engine running in the end, and I'll just sell maybe the parts from this one. Um, so I'll start off with this one. I got this one a couple months ago. Um, it, it was my first time ever, like, touching something like this. So, it was all new to me. Um, so, it is seized up. The I'm pretty sure it is the piston which is seized. Um, so, that's probably... And then, it also has this crack in the casing. Here and through there. So, that's what made me need to get this one. Uh, because I'm going to need to replace this. This is the top. Um, it's not too bad, but there is another little crack here, so I don't know what I'll do with this if I'll sell it as scrap. I don't know if you can sell them as scrap, uh, or if someone would be able to redo that and I'll be able to sell it as repair. Um, uh, this one, it, it's okay. It looks better than it is, I think. Um... This thing is stuck on, uh, but I think that's quite a normal thing. So I'm going to need to get maybe a friend. We've got a friend who knows about this. We might get him to come over and try get that off. Same with on this engine. It's also stuck on. Uh, I'll go around and take you around to the other side. Oh, okay, yeah, this is the other side of the engine. Um... Everything is still seized up, and I haven't taken any of this off because I was planning on getting the flywheel off first. Um, you can see inside there, uh, it doesn't look too bad, but there's quite a lot of rust up there where the piston is. So I think that's, so I think that the piston is seized in. Um, and there was a little bit, I haven't taken much oil out, but there was lots of water in with the oil. When I opened the cap up, lots of water came out. Uh, over to my other engine. So this is my other engine. Um, I got this one about a month ago. Um, it's been much easier to take apart, mainly because I know what I'm doing from this one. Um, but the bolts coming off of this one were a lot easier than this the other one from that one um this one moves it isn't seized and it's actually really smooth so that makes me hope that there's no broken bearings um the top was quite difficult to get off though uh these those two bolts there they didn't want to come off uh, i ended up snapping this one here so I'm trying to get some WD-40 down into beneath it, so I'm able to take it off and replace it with one of those ones. Uh, this bit on the end, this pulley bit, it's also very hard to take off, same like the other one. It is a bit thinner. Well, you can get egg, like gear pullers around it. I have, I do have some, but they haven't proved to be very useful. So I think I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna message that same friend and see if he would be able to come over and uh, see if he could help. You are able to see in on this one as well. Uh, I don't know if I'm meant to. Torch isn't working. Um, 
I don't know if you're meant to have this open while you are moving it, but uh, that's things I need to learn. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Yeah, there. That's just the torch. That. It seems pretty smooth. I do have WD-40 on it, so it hopefully won't be rubbing against anything. Let me see. There. So everything, I'm pretty sure on this one is good. Um, let's put that up to the top. Everything on this one is good. Uh, it's just a hassle taking like the pulley and flywheel off. Uh, okay, so what I believe uh, I'm next planning on doing with engines is I'm going to get the pulley and the flywheel off because I know you are able to take it off. Um, off of what's it, the crankcase. I know you are able to take it off of the crankcase, uh, still attached to, I think it's the crankshaft. But I really just want to take it off um, because when I paint them and everything, I feel like it'll be easier. Um, if any of you guys know anything, like if it's any ways to get it off, um, because I've been putting WD-40 all over it. Uh, I've been using gear pullers, but nothing seems to be working. Uh, yeah, so I'll try get this off. If not, it might just come around to taking it off with crankcase, with the crankshaft. I mean, um, and then I'll strip all the other parts off, and then I'll get around to painting it. Uh, that'll be. I might be a while away though. Um, this other one, it's just me the same. I'm gonna get the flywheel and the pulley off, and then I'm gonna just strip it down. Uh, then, at that point, I'll probably figure out what parts I'm keeping from each engine, and then I'll paint them. Uh, I'll need to find out ways of painting them, because I don't know how to get all this rust off. Uh, I see people using, like, angle grinders and stuff, but I don't really have anything at the moment. I've got quite a s small tool supply. Uh, with painting, so I'll get them all stripped down, I'll get around to painting them, and you get all the rust off first. Uh, there isn't that much, it's just surface rust on both engines. Um, and then once I've done that, I hope it's just stick them back together and they'll run. Don't know if that's how it actually works, but... Um, the Magneto, it's around here somewhere. So here is, uh, the Magneto, it... Uh, someone nicely from my dad's work uh, took it apart because I couldn't get the two top screws off and I didn't really want to break them. So they took it off and they had a look inside and they said that the coil needs re-wung, re 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 the coil needs uh, replaced. So that's going to cost quite a lot of money. So it's sort of a blow to the thing but I will need to I've been emailing some people but I don't know where to get it redone so that's that uh, the other things the fuel tanks from both the engines uh, this is from the newer engine so this engine here uh, it doesn't look too bad, it's got quite a lot of surface rust uh, on the top. Uh, but inside it still looks good. Um, the other one is... It's got... The other one's got a big hole in the bottom here, and you can hear all the rust. You can hear all the rust um, in it, so I'll probably take the this fuel valve off and use it in the other one. Uh, yeah, this is basically just paint there. Uh, I think that's both the engines. Um, I'm in just the middle of the garage at the moment, the middle of 
barn so I've got quite a small space but hopefully we'll be moving this a lot more round uh, so then I'll have loads of room because it's quite cramped at the moment. I also have this um, fuel pump, list of fuel pump. It all turns. Uh, I have taken this bit here off and it all, no, the end bit off. I've taken the end bit off and it all looks great, but I can't seem to get this bolt up here off. Uh, none of my sets are big enough. So if any, and I, I've tried using this, uh, but it's pretty well stuck on. So if anybody has any ideas to getting that off, please do put them in the comments below. So yeah, I don't really know how long these videos are going to be. They might be five minutes, they might be 10, they might only be 30 seconds, but uh, I think I'm just gonna start WD-40 and everything back up again because I took a two week break because I had school work. So I'm just gonna start redoing it all up and I might go back inside and email my friend and see what he says to do. So yeah, I'm really burning through this WD-40 really quickly. Uh, and I don't really know how much I should be using, but I can hear these bolts here. Just any bolt that I feel like I'm going to need to take apart pretty soon. I'm trying to spray. Uh, just because everyone says just WD-40 works. So that's a basic thing that I'm working on. I've got this cloth in here because uh, I was watching someone's video and they said plug uh, that to stop any part, uh, dust falling in, but uh, I do have this open, so that sort of makes me wonder if I should have this open. Uh, I don't really know if I'm meant to be putting W40 on here, but as far as I understand, there shouldn't be any reason why I can't. Uh, if this is like a big no-no, please tell me. Yeah, with this end bit here, I've just really just been spraying WD-40 in the, the key here. There's a crack next to the key and just around it. Uh, no. it, and it's pretty well stuck on. I, I have got a pulley. This is just like my tool arrangement. This is like on the messier side of things at the moment. It's normally not as messy as this. I do have this gear pulley, which I put on it, but it uh, just kept on slipping off. So I don't know if I'm using it wrong or if it's just too tightly stuck on. So yeah, I've sort of hit a roadblock because I really want to get these pulley, this pulley and flywheel off before I take the crankshaft out. Um... But then, once I take that out, hopefully it'll just be painting. Alright, so this is for all my tools so far. Um, if there's anything which you think I'm missing, or that I will need to get, uh, please do tell me, because if anything makes my life easier, uh, I'll definitely be using it. So I've got an uh, Imperial socket set with a ratchet from Halfords. Then I've got... Uh, just a metric socket that fit onto the set. I've got two sets of spanners, Imperial and Metric. I've got a blowtorch, some files. I also have a breaker bar. It isn't very good quality, so I might need to get a new one. Uh, I've also just got some screwdrivers. Empty cans of WD-40. Go through them qu pretty quickly. So yeah, this is just where I'm keeping all my uh, parts at the moment. Uh, this is for this engine, and then for that engine, I keep them all in those boxes. But in this engine, uh, I, uh, I'm i just keeping it all in here. Uh, I've got the head bolts, oil filler cap, the uh, exhaust flange, rocker shaft. Everything is basically just stored in here. Uh, 
I'm just... So yeah, um, if there's any easier way of storing, please do say. If you have any tips on how to store stuff better, please do put them down in the comments. I will really appreciate it. So getting into it, uh, I first just saw them come up on Gumtree, but uh, I've just been watching YouTube videos really, and I've got these three books. Uh, one of them is the Lister D Restoration, and then I've got the Technical Specification Data Booklet, and the Instruction and Spare Part Book. So if there's any other books which you think I should get, once again, put them down in the comments. Um, just, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to end up the video there. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to be. Because I'm probably going to cut quite a few bits out. Uh, but anyway, please do uh, subscribe so you don't miss my other videos. Uh, so yeah, bye.